Hey, this is Will Welker, and this video is going to be about my mealworm experiment. These don't look like mealworms, they're actually darkling beetles. They are the adult version of the mealworm. And I'm primarily feeding these guys duckweed in addition to scraps from my microgreens and garden. Uh, traditionally what everyone feeds these is um, wheat germ, which is great, but I'm trying to develop my own food supply chain. And so I'm giving these guys duckweed primarily. And what I have here is various generations of their offspring. Uh, every week or two I will take the tray below them where all the eggs and tiny larvae fall and then filter it off into these lower trays. And this is the most recent one. And I don't see any worm activity there yet. Here's the here's another one. And if you see all those little brown squiggle things, those are dried shed skins. So uh, I know we have a lot of activity there. Let's just take a look. So there's all the new baby mealworms um, eating primarily duckweed. I do I do have some crumbs of oatmeal that's sort of left over from the original feed source I was using. And so uh, I've been adding duckweed that's somewhat moist, you know, mostly dry. These are not like maggots. They don't like things wet and slimy. They, think they, they like it very dry with just a little bit of moisture to keep them, keep them going. And I have, uh, if it gets too dry, I just mist it with a little bit of water. Lots of people will add like a carrot or a potato that's fresh in there. See if I can hold still and you can see the activity. So this is an ongoing experiment. In order to become a significant part of the food chain, the production would have to be ramped up quite a bit. And uh, I think I have it, I have this in my basement and it's fairly cool here. It's about 65 degrees commonly. And I think these reproduce the fastest right around 80, 83 degrees thereabouts and a fairly high humidity, like 60-70% humidity. So I started this some time ago and I thought I would just give a little update and show what we have going on here. Duckweed by itself has some oxalates in it, which is not good if, if you eat lots of it as like a staple food. I mean, lots of, lots of vegetables like spinach have that in it and it's it's not a concern unless you're eating huge amounts of it. So I don't think a human should consume huge amounts of duckweed, at least not lemna minor. I think the, the wolfia variety might have uh, less oxalates. Um, I'll have to run some tests on that at some point. But if the, if the mealworms eat it, I mean, there's no research out there on what happens when the mealworms eat it. I've kind of looked and it's... Um, Hard to find any research on this, so I'm just doing it myself. So my next project is I'm going to put these in a more uh, controlled environment where I can control the heat and the humidity and see if I can ramp up the production rate because at this temperature and, and humidity level, it's a little bit slow, seems kind of slow to me. So we'll see how it goes.